I know this has been a tough day, and I'm gonna end the agony for you right now. You. Okay, you can do it, guys. You can do it, I'm feeling it. That meat should be out resting soon, and I can't wait to taste it. I get on to doing a reduction with the red wine, and I'd already had some carrots and the turnip on, which were gonna be sort of in the center of my plate. I'd taken my duck off and was resting it, and I was really quite happy with the seasoning. Oh, it tastes right. Got my goat's cheese, my nuts. Gotta have your nuts. I'm getting a little bit worried because I don't know if I want to put the duck breast on early and don't want to overcook my vegetables. You know, I need, still need some time to plate up. I've got to keep an eye on time and watch my timings. Okay. Ooh. Okay, guys, so 10 minutes left to go, okay? Just 10 minutes left to go. You're doing great. You're doing great. The last thing I want to do is overcook these. Oh, I cut myself twice now. Two band-aids. We'll get better at this. They must not be overcooked. I think I just have. I go, oh, I'm just gonna do it again. <laughs> I do two wings at a time, and one of them I take out for myself to sample. I'm thinking the duck looks really small and it's just a wing with a fraction of the breast attached, and it's not as crispy as I would like, so I'm going to put the second wing on for a bit longer. Just gonna sizzle. Beautiful. All right, heads up. Five minutes to go. You should be really thinking about plating, having already started that. Think about the last little touches that you want to put on the plate. My duck is undercooked. Like that there. OK, two minutes, guys. Just two minutes left. Yeah, good work. Well done. I'm feeling a little bit stressed out just because I love sauce and the fact that I didn't get a sauce on, I'm a bit annoyed about that. Oh my god, it's so messy. Oh, hell. 15 seconds. 15 seconds, guys. Come on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. I'm hoping that they'll just think it's a nice tasting dish and that it's not the worst of the lot. My main concern is probably the crispness of the deep fried duck wing and hopefully all the other components are good enough. Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd probably give myself two and eight. I think I've got this, yeah. I managed to sort of get something together that I'm fairly happy with. I'm hoping for rave reviews, but I, I, I really don't know. <laughs> feel great. I think it uh, looks great on the plate, and I hope it tastes good too. And I think it's a dish that will definitely get me to the top 16. I managed to put myself on the elbow, and I've got a couple of lovely elements that I didn't manage to put on the plate. I'm kicking myself for leaving out the crispy chicken skin, which would have added a really nice crunch to it. It's like, damn. Peter plated something in the end. He found in his strength, and I am very proud of him. It's not easy. It is not easy at all. I got over my mental block um, that I had while I was cooking. The duck tastes beautiful, and the mushrooms are lovely. So I'm thinking the flavour combinations could be enough, but I really don't know at this stage. Welcome, Lily. Did it take you a while to sort of work out, you know, when you saw the, the different breasts in front of you, what you wanted to do with them? I made three, two made it to the plate. The last one, I forgot, it was the crispy fried chicken skin. Right. I that forgot didn't to put make it, it on, so I ate it. It was good? It was really good. Great. I like your feedback on the presentation, of course, as well I'm as I'm going to give takes. you my feedback on the presentation. Yes. Yeah, definitely going to give you my feedback. I tell you what, I think it looks really pretty. Is it a bit, bit busy? Yeah, it's quite busy. You know, I sort of look at this and I quite like things a little bit tighter. Are you happy with it? I am happy with it, yes. 
because I'm really happy with it too. Excellent. So, uh, what is what is the actual dish? Is it a tasting plate? Is it a? It's a salad. It's a salad. Yes, I've gone back to the basics and keeping it simple. Do you think this is simple? I think the flavour combination is simple, but I'd love to know what you think, Josh. It's, do you think it's too much? Um, well, that would be telling, wouldn't it, Lily? <laughs> uh, I think there's some really interesting things going on there, but, yeah, me and the boys are going to have a chat. Thank you very much. Thanks, Lily. I'd, um, I'd love to hear what you think, Al. And Mark. <laughs> <laughs> so I've done uh, duck breasts and wrapped that with the chicken and then put the pigeon underneath and wrapped that in prosciutto. I've called it a three bird surprise. Three bird surprise, yeah. I like it. I'm happy with my dish, so fingers crossed I get there. Nice textures, it's a nice balance, visually looks good, so. Thank you. That's good, Gideon. Thank Cheers. you. Thank you. Hey Ben, how are you? Watch your dish. I've done a sous vide duck breast, uh, a walnut pesto on a bed of quinoa with spinach and mushroom. I'd cut the quinoa in half. The hero was the duck. <coughs> Thanks, Ben. Thanks, Ben. Well done, mate. I'm not ready to go home. But, uh, yeah, I think I got there in the end. Everything is on the line today. Like, this kind of determines my future. So I'm really hoping for a positive outcome. It's just what I want. Oh, yeah. Great. I like it. It's good. Thank you. The duck does taste good. The mushrooms tasted good. I think the flavour combinations are good. Hi, Peter. Hello, Josh. We made it. We did. Just. I've, you know, I've had some adversity in the last few years of my life and uh, I guess I had a bit of a meltdown at the beginning. Tell me about your adversity. My mum um, passed away uh, two years ago and the day after the funeral of my mum, we got news that my partner's dad had cancer and my partner's dad passed away uh, last month. Were they with you here today, do you think? I th definitely think um, they, they, they've, they've been watching down on me, yes. Good on you. Back to the dish. Looks pretty good, you know. Good on you for getting back on the horse, Peter, because I think it was important that you did that. Correct. You know, it looks like you've done a fairly good job on the duck here. You could obviously render the fat a bit more, but the protein is, is delicious. With the shiitake mushrooms, you can take the, the stem out. It's very tough. And then, you know, what's the lovely thing that goes with duck? Normally some sweetness. I so. was hoping the carrots might do that, but... All right, great. Thanks, Peter. Thank you. Oh, I'm glad for his sake that he... He put something he up. put something up. At the beginning of that, I didn't think it was going to happen, so, yeah. Good on him. Hey, Vanessa. You looked like you were um, in control and you were oh, doing yeah. a good job yeah, there. Hopefully, yeah. I think I've done enough. I'm very happy with how the play looks. I think that the duck's cooked nice and nice and pink, nice and rosé. Cool. And there's some really good acid there with the, what do you call it, Asian slaw? Yeah, Asian slaw. I, I was hoping Beet, to... Beetroot and carrot. Is that Asian well, slaw? Yeah, that? I don't actually know why, why I call it Asian slaw. <laughs> so, first of all, a big ups to all of you for making it this far. You should all be really, really super proud. Sadly, there are only 16 spots in the MasterChef house. And I'm afraid there's only eight that are up for grabs. I'm thinking the flavour combinations could be enough, but I, I really don't, don't know at this stage. I'm going to call out four names. Can the following people please step forward? Vanessa. May. Peter. And Jules. Guys, the standard today has been phenomenally high and we have been blown away by you all. You're all great cooks.
But unfortunately, you have been outcooked today and you will be leaving the competition. My own standard is quite high and I wish I could have done more today. Thanks for your efforts. It's been an absolute pleasure having you here. Sincerely say that. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. You've done a great job. Thanks. All the best. Next up, I'd like to see Richard, Hayley, Gideon, and Jess. I know this has been a tough day, and I'm gonna end the agony for you right now. You. Are staying. I can't. <laughs> I'm just wrapped, absolutely wrapped. Really pleased. So next up, please step forward, Gemma. Fingers across that I'm in the top 50 percent. I really want to be in the house, carry on this journey. Lily. Ben. Who's going to go home? Who's going to stay? We still don't know. So it's that whole anxious waiting. And Jemima. The four of you. will be joining the top 16. Yeah. Congratulations. I just made top 16 with Pigeon that I thought was duck. <laughs> yeah, I'm aesthetic. I'm really stoked right now. But really sad at the same time that like, I was really packed with Shannon in particular and she felt like a little sister, so it's pretty sad to see her go. OK, for those of you going home, you guys should be seriously proud. Honestly, you've done a phenomenal job. Any other year, you know, with the standard of food you've given us, you potentially could have been over there. These guys have done some seriously great food. You are so close. You've got this far. You know, don't give up. Please don't give up. We really appreciate what you've cooked for us. We really enjoyed it. So, heads up, chin up, and um, best of luck with everything, okay? It's been a real pleasure to eat your food. It's been fantastic. You're great cooks, you really are toughest thing we've had to do for a long, long time. So you promise me one thing, you keep cooking. Yep. Yeah? Well done, guys. Thank you. Oh, Thanks, guys. I definitely feel like I could have done more, but I'm taking so much excitement with me. It's just been an absolutely amazing experience. Right, guys. You've cooked some exceptional dishes, but don't think you can slack off. You need to work hard for the next week and bring us something amazing. We're looking forward to seeing what you all can do from here. Congratulations again. We've got a great bunch of people that we're going to be cooking with. I can't wait. So excited. It's the beginning of a new era. Guys, you're through to the top 16, and over the next few months, we will be expecting exceptional things. I think you 16 are going to give us some of the best food that I've ever seen.